Hello Year 11, welcome to this short video introducing the Help You Choose website and also explaining how you can access your accounts at Nevid. The first thing to say is that the Help You Choose website should be your go-to site in terms of finding post-16 information. Here you should be able to find everything that you need to help you make informed post-16 choices. The second thing to say is that on the Help You Choose website, you can make applications to the vast majority of providers within Norfolk. All the different courses and all the different levels are covered. In addition to researching and making applications, you could also use Help You Choose to find general careers information. This might be in terms of um, what do the different levels of courses mean? What are the different courses that, that are out there? Their support in terms of your health and well-being. Uh, what financial support is available? Um, can you find any kind of a work experience? And also um, in terms of travel and transport, what funding is available? And hopefully it will provide you with information in terms of how you could access your chosen course. So the first step is that um, you'll need to get logged in, okay? Your login and in terms of your username and your password will be supplied via your form tutor at Nevin. It will come on a little label and then you must simply stick this into your planner. So therefore it just means that you just won't lose it. At the bottom, you can see that if you do forget your password and your username, you have the ability to retrieve this by clicking on the links. The other kind of help that is available is that if this is causing an issue, for whatever reason you're not accessing the website, something's not working, please come and contact myself, Mr Hodges, and I will be happy to help you with this. Once you have logged in and your username and password is safely stored into your planner, you will then be taken to your account. And this is your homepage um, where it's got your profile, your next steps and your application. And then as time progresses, as you start filling out um, different parts of it, this will become more populated. Just as a kind of a, a point of reference, if you're on the website and you're kind of getting lost as such. You can always click on your account, which is along the top right, and it will always take you back to this particular home page. From your home page, it takes you to your profile, and this is the thing that needs completing first. Um, as you go through each of the different tabs, please press save and continue throughout. So therefore your, save it, your, your progress is saved. When you are completing your contact details, please use your N7 email address as much as possible. This means that at an appropriate time in school, you can check the, the progress of your applications. When you are filling out your qualifications, please use your forecast grades and not your target grades. Probably the most um, kind of complex part within here is your personal statement. And this is your opportunity to tell the provider a little bit about yourself, I in terms of the hobbies and interests that you have, and perhaps why you would like to go on this particular course. Please use the help and support that, we, that will be provided by your form tutor. When you are completing your profile, all the different stages need to be as accurate as you can possibly make it. And also just check your spelling throughout. And it might be an idea to copy and paste the information from Microsoft Word as you progress. And a key advantage with using Help You Choose is that you can make multiple applications through the site and you will only need to complete your profile once and, and that's a real advantage for using help you choose. Once you've completed your profile you can then start applying for a wide range of courses. This only goes live from the 1st of October. 
okay? Um, and there is absolutely no need to do this straight away. So spend time researching the different courses. When you're applying for six forms, um, please check the actual deadlines that they have. Their, their deadlines do vary based upon the institution. Um, colleges are slightly different, but the sooner you can get their application in, uh, the better. Clearly with your applications, these are going to be amended and added to as time progresses. What you need to be doing now is first step is that you get signed into the website. You remember your login details and that you can do this on a regular basis. Um, the first thing that needs completing is your personal profile. And as kind of mentioned before, please get help and support of this to ensure that it is the best that you can possibly make it. Um, check for upcoming events in terms of open evenings, open mornings, when are they, where are they, what time do they start? And, and obviously start attending as many of these as you can. Research for courses, find out what courses are there. And as highlighted, start applying from the 1st of October. Good luck with this and don't forget there's loads of people in school who can help you. In the first instance, speak to your form tutor and then if you need any kind of further help, come and speak to me or any of the staff within the careers team. Thank you very much for watching.